Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be finally starting my back to school series, which is kind of late, because I know some people have been back for almost a week, or even more than a week, but I start um, next Monday, so I have a couple more days, and I'm going to be putting up back to school videos every day, this week or every other day, I'm going to try to get them all up, because I have quite a bit of ideas to share with you guys. I have filmed this video before, it was last year, it's been over a year, when I rewatch that video, and then I, I'm going to see this video, and it's going to be completely different. And it's just, I've grown up a lot since then, it was a year, and it's just, it's funny to watch. So, I'm going to link that one below. I want you guys to watch that one, and then come watch this one. I'm going to try to make different tips for you guys, because I don't want you guys to re-watch the same thing. I don't want you guys to be like, alright, so I'm watching this video, she's making me watch this old video. Then I'm coming back, and it's the same tips. Why would I want to watch that? I feel like I have experienced a lot more since then, and I've thought of more tips before. I started this video, so let's get started. Now, the title is Survive Your Freshman Year. It's kind of intimidating, but I want you guys to know that if you, even if you don't follow these tips that I'm giving you, or if you don't even take what I have to say in consideration, which is fine, just want to watch this video, just curious, you will probably survive your freshman year. I would hope you would survive your freshman year. I'm just kind of sharing with you guys some things that I wish I knew and that I've grown to know from my experiences throughout high school since I'm going to be a senior and I feel like I've experienced enough to make this video. Number one tip is don't listen to the movies or the TV shows or the stories that you've read because high school is completely different from that. If you watch Degrassi, don't expect high school to be exactly like that. My high school is no way close to being exactly like that or have anything like that because that's just trying to show you guys all the things that high schoolers can go through which are kind of it's kind of like not realistic from seeing people that have been through this high school has a way of changing people it really does I feel like if you think high school needs to be a certain way because you saw it in a movie it's going to change you, you're going to act a different way, and I think people lose themselves in high school. But then also some people find themselves in high school, which is also a good thing. A friend of mine that is completely different than she's been since she's entered high school, because now she's going to be a sophomore. But I know she was not like that when she was younger, and I feel like she thinks that, oh, high school has to be this way. It's not like that at all, and I think you need to push yourself away from that and be like, okay, high school is probably not going to be like that at all. It's... It's not. It's just school. You go there to learn. You go there to do what you have to do. Get it over and done with. And then when you do, you're just like, yes, cause I'm so excited to get so my senior year over with and start college. I'm so excited. I wish I could just skip senior year and just go to college. Freshman year is kind of the year that gets you prepared for the rest of the years to come in high school. Gets you used to it. Gets you used to the way your school is. The scheduling, the timing, the people, the teachers. You're probably used to only like two years in one school when this has four so you're gonna be with a bunch of older people like when I was a freshman I was 13 and I was with 18 year olds in school so it's like they're completely different a lot older than me something that you have to get used to I think that's a like a prep a prep grade which but also um, you have to do your work obviously tip two is to if you have the opportunity I'm gonna just use the an old tip from one of my videos, from my old video, because I think it was a pretty good one. Um, I think it's really important because if you stumble across this video and you don't feel like watching the other one, then I suggest that you go to orientation. It's something that goes on during the summer in my school. Um, when I was an eighth grader, I, well, I was when I was going into my freshman year, we had an orientation which I was not going to attend because it was summer, and I was like, why do I want to wake up at seven o'clock when I could sleep till like three o'clock in, in the afternoon? And I don't feel like getting up and doing all the things because it's like, wear sweatpants and comfortable shoes because you're going to be doing activities. It's like, I want to go to sleep. I ended up changing my mind and going with my friends and being in a group with not many of my friends and meeting so many amazing people, some long-term friends that I have now. And it was just something that I'm so glad I ended up going to. If you had that option to go to at your school, then I highly recommend it. It's going to be probably upperclassmen showing you around the school. I wasn't at, It wasn't at my school, but kind of telling you about school and what everything is or where everything is and what to expect and they'll probably have better useful tips than I'm going to be giving you because they go to your school and I don't go to everybody's school I'm just speaking for my school and my experiences orientation if that's an option get out of bed and go because that's a really important thing I know it's hard transitioning from middle school to high school because the periods are probably going to be different I had eighth 
I had eight periods when I was in middle school, and now I have four, so my classes are 82 minutes long, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. It's an hour and 22 minutes long, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I have to get used to this. But once you get in a routine, you go to your classes, you know where you got to go, you know um, who your teachers are, you're good with the people that are in your class, you know what to expect, how your class is going to be. You, it's something, it really helps you and it's something that takes some getting used to because you have to build a routine for yourself. I really personally, I love summer, don't get me wrong, I love summer, I love sleeping. I'm not the type of person that likes getting kicked out of a routine if I'm in a routine, which is very rarely, usually it's school then when I'm in a routine, but I, I like the fact that we have summer, but I don't like the fact that we go to, we have school, we have school, we build a routine, then we're just... We get out of that routine in two months because we have summer for two months. And then we go back to school and we have to get used to a whole other routine. I mean, obviously it's a way of life and it has to happen. If you want to stay in the same grade, then, I mean, you could fail. I know it's probably going to take me about a month to get into the routine, get used to everything because new teachers and stuff. I actually have one of my old teachers, which I'm really excited about because he was one of my favorite teachers. So I'm excited to have him for English again, for one of my Englishes because I have two English classes. Other thing which sounds really really cliche is definitely just be yourself and be true to yourself follow the right crowd and stick with your friends that you've been with for a really long time and if you see them changing kind of just like tell them hey we haven't been hanging out much I see you've been hanging out with these people that I don't think are really good news I think a lot of people lose their friends in high school and I have actually um and people change a lot in high school and that goes back to the first thing which I don't want to go back I want to go forward with this another great tip which I think is like number four or five I don't know I lost track when you go into school majority of the time I think that most of you will have plenty of time to go look for your classes and find where everything is before you have to go to class and that's a really good thing. I've been doing that my, every year for the first day of school. Every single year I would go find my classes, find exactly where I need to be first period because I remember my freshman year I was hustling trying to find everything because I was, my freshman year I was worried about finding my home room and being there on time. So that's the only class I really looked for. I think it's just going to be, we're going to have 8 day classes first. It's going to be a whole entire period. I really hope not. No, because I like that because then the next day of school is like another first day because you just go to a cla my A day classes and my B day classes. Yeah, so I want to do that. Also, if you have upperclassmen, maybe sisters, brothers, cousins, something like that, um, follow them around and have them help you. But um, I am actually going to be kind of new to the school because our school is just redone, completely redone, and they um, I haven't really seen the whole entire school finished, and I'm just kind of looking, checking it out myself for the first time, but I've seen most of the buildings, but I'm going to find out where my classes are and stuff, so I wish I found this video, or one of these videos, before I was entering my freshman year, so I think it would have helped a little bit. I hope that this kind of helps you get over the nervousness that you may experience while you're trying to fall asleep, which I know I'm going to, because one, I'm going to be a little bit nervous for school, and two, I'm not going to be able to fall asleep because my sleeping schedule is so screwed up, so screwed. I hope that your first day of school goes really well. I'll let you guys know how mine goes because I'm probably going to be doing a video and maybe I'll like vlog in school with my friends because I always have my flip with me. Let me know if you already had school, how your first day of school went, even if you're not a freshman and you're watching this video. Just let me know and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.